Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making these custom barn door handles. Uh, it's a very simple little project. I'm going to be making these and setting them on Etsy. Um, they don't take that long to make and if you want to make them too, stick around and you can see how I made them. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 10 inches on this 2 inch by 3 16 flat strap. That's going to be the base that uh, mounts to the door. Uh, I'm going to cut multiple pieces. I'm going to cut them all at uh, 10 inches. You can do it at whatever size you want. You know, it's, it's going to make for how long of a door handle you want. Uh, I'm doing mine at 10 inch right here. I'm going to make uh, a couple of them. Alright, so right here guys, I'm right here I'm cutting the actual rebar and this is 5 8 rebar and I'm cutting it at 8 inches long. Uh, this is going to be the actual handle and then I'm going to cut two pieces for every 8 inch and that's going to be the studs that hold the handle out away from the flat strap and those I'm cutting them at 2 inches long. And like I said, this is all whatever size you want to cut man. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can make the... Uh, studs a little uh, longer and shorter as well whatever you like this is whatever you, uh, preference you want here and then uh, after I cut them I kind of clean up the burrs a little bit at the ends this is not really the safe way to do it and uh, I don't recommend you do it this way but this is just how I've always done it and really I think what it is is that cutting wheel that I got on there is a little bit too big for for the metal I'm cutting so here in a little while I swap it out with another shorter or a thinner blade and it kind of gets rid of that uh, birds at the end or it doesn't leave as much. All right, so right here, I'm gonna start cutting the two inch little studs. You can see I already got quite a bit of them cut already. And these are going to be what separate the uh, base of the door handle and the actual handle. There's going to be two inch uh, gap between it. All right, guys. So we're going to a commercial and we'll be right back. All right, guys. This episode is sponsored by me because I don't have no sponsors. Here's a little uh, digital product that I made that you can print out. And uh, before you start your project, you can have all your materials list, your Actions to take, uh, customer info, if you're going to sell your product or your project that you're working on. You have notes section, uh, what it costs you to make and what you want to sell it for. And then uh, it's a three page little deal and uh, you can have uh, uh, it has a grid lines on the other side. On the, see, I could draw up the door handle how I wanted it. And from there, you can kind of draw it up, put your measurements, have notes, and then you have another page of notes. Uh, this is going to be in the link in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And now, back to the project. Alright guys, so right here I'm cutting the, drilling the holes where you actually mount the handle to the door. What I did is I got that 2 inch flat strap and I went to the center, uh, 1 inch in the center, and then I went down. I went uh, half an inch on both sides and I did that to all of them, all the plates. I think I need to get me a better drill press. Uh, this one was a little cheap one that I bought on Amazon. It was a hundred bucks and it works good. But I think I kind of burnt that drill bit too earlier when I was doing something else with it. And uh, I didn't have no more of that uh, drilling oil. So I was using some chain lube that I guess kind of worked because it kind of did kind of cut a little bit better after I used it. but. I think I kind of burned up that tip earlier and it's not as good as it was. But uh, 
if man i'm gonna have a link to all the stuff that i use to make this video and uh tools and everything is gonna be all in the description so make sure i check that out if you're interested in anything you know and there's gonna be affiliate links so you know I'll, I'll get a small little cut from uh amazon or wherever the link goes to and that's just gonna help the channel grow and uh be able to buy more materials because uh i'm pretty sure some of y'all know if y'all bought any metal recently it's like skyrocketed the price up a lot and kind of makes it hard to make any more videos all right so there it is i cut all the holes out already you can see Gotta clean them all up, top and bottom. All right guys, so this is basically what I'm doing. I cut this at 10 inches long and I came half an inch in and put drilled a hole, half an inch in, drilled another hole. And then I came in two inches from here to here and that's gonna, on both sides, that's gonna give me six inches right here. So I came up, I got, I got a welder still and I gotta level everything out. And, uh, and then that's gonna be in the center. That's eight inches long. And I just put that uh, one inch in and one inch in. And uh, I'm gonna use a little square right here to kind of level everything, straighten out everything the way, make everything straight. And what I did, I just got a wire wheel, man. Uh, just uh, wire wheeled everything and it makes it look real nice and shiny. Uh, if you wanna save you a lot of time, man, go ahead and do the wire wheel before you cut anything because that way you can do the whole stick before you start cutting. And these little small ones are kind of hard if you're going to be using a wire wheel. You know, I had to use a, some channel locks or something or a vise to hold it. But uh, you'll see when it's done. Right, so there you have it all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna uh, use the uh, wire wheel again before i weld the rest i'm gonna clean the bottom part up i'm gonna go ahead and weld the top all right so there it is all grind up a little bit pretty good and these ones are gonna center it about right there Once I get it where I want it, I'm just going to tack it on one side and do the same thing all the way around. guys so there it is like I said I'm just gonna use a wire wheel again and clean it all up I'll show you when it's done all right another thing that you can do is I just drew a line so you can see it I drew the line with the, my six inch mark and where it's gonna everything's gonna be now I just paste these on here and then weld that. Once I weld all this, I can weld it onto here. All right, guys. So after uh, I I find this to be the best way so far, man. Um, to be honest, this is uh, it's a lot straighter, a lot smoother. Um, everything lines up a lot better this way. So um, after I weld all this, this is the last one that I show for the video, but. Uh, they, I did a few of them and I already post, posted them on Etsy already so 
if y'all want to check that out, man, uh, like I said, uh, this is gonna every all the money I make off of here is gonna go all back to to the videos, you know, try to be able to buy more metal and do more projects. And like I said, that's really why I kind of stopped doing it for a while because prices of everything just went up. I remember this flash drive used to be about fifty cents a foot. And when I bought it uh, yesterday, when I bought this, it was like two dollars a foot. It went up like crazy. And uh, here's the finished product. Uh, I got them all hanged up. And what I did is uh, I cleaned them up with the uh, acetone, just to kind of take all the fingerprints and all the oils off of there. But I'm letting them all dry up right here. And then after that, uh, I'm going to uh, post them on Etsy, take a few pictures, post them on Etsy. And yeah, make sure to check that out, man. I'm going to have some links below, like I said. Check them links out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Help this channel grow a little bit more. And uh, I hope to see you all on the next video, man. Let me know how y'all been doing and what do y'all think about these. Or if y'all have a better way to do them, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.